What's going on guys? I'm actually waiting for a package to arrive and it was one o'clock, but now they've changed the times to, let me see if you can see it, to between half past one and half past three. So I thought, you know what, let's just record a quick YouTube video while we're waiting. And I want to talk about whether or not it's better to get clients online compared to getting clients like face to face, you know, like physical clients that are um, based locally. And I've actually seen a few videos uh, on YouTube on this topic, uh, which I don't actually agree with. You know, a lot of people say, say that um, local clients have that that personal touch and you can actually go and meet them and you can create a bit more of a long term relationship with them. And yes, that is true in a way, but I actually think that you can do the exact same. Obviously, you can't physically meet clients online uh, unless they do live in the neighborhood and you want to actually go the extra mile for them. But I definitely think that you can still create and build long term relations, uh, relationships with clients online. So let me just quickly you know, mention the basically the positives of having local clients and then I'll mention the positives of having online clients and then just basically tell you why online clients are better. So, like I said, clients that are local, yes, you can go to them. Um, you know, you can actually meet them face to face. And yes, there are a lot of businesses that actually prepare that, especially small local businesses would rather you be there physically so they can talk to you face to face. Uh, businesses with a owners from an older generation might actually prefer this uh, for example i have worked with a company in london that actually wanted me to be there face to face when they discussed because they didn't believe in skype they said that they would rather pay for my flight and my hotel to get me over there i spend the day there and i get to know the business a bit more and um you know they can just just like fire things at me, you know, ask questions and I can answer them there, you know, get it all done and dusted and then, you know, I can go back home and do my own thing. So that was a sort of um, client that preferred local or physical meetings rather than online. Uh, but other than that, I do think that online meetings are the way to go. It's the future. It's the way people communicate nowadays. And when you are online, quick, quick mention. Uh, my dad, who is in his 50s, actually now has online meetings as well. He do, uses, what does he use? Uh, Google Hangouts. Don't ask me why, that he, I have no idea, but Google Hangouts uh, is what he uses for online meetings nowadays. And uh, prior to this, he was always in a different country, you know, every single week, uh, getting clients for his uh, recruitment agency. So not social media, but, you know, um, he does actually get leads and clients like like a social media agency um, but he used to you know drive there physically be there with the, the 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 clients in the room and nowadays you know he does a lot of um, his meetings either through the phone or through google hangouts but the best thing about online meetings is the efficiency of it okay you don't need to physically go to uh, the place you don't need to you know spend time with small talk etc for example let's say um so i'm about 30 minutes outside of amsterdam let's say i land a client in amsterdam which is then you know that is considered a local client i then have to spend half an hour going there if i'm stuck in traffic it'll take me an hour so it's it's taking me between 30 and 60 minutes to get there you get there you're in the waiting room or you know whatever you're waiting for the the person who is actually who you've got the meeting with to show up or to pick you up or whatever okay then you're there um he or she will offer you a cup of coffee or a beverage you sit there because you are there you know um the client will feel obliged to just give a bit of small talk a bit of you know um just random chat about the, about the day you know maybe the weather or the traffic getting there then once your 15 minutes of small talk is over you'll get to you know to business um, you haven't got your computer with you or your laptop or maybe you have but you know um, you then have to ask for the Wi-Fi um, you know you have to show them like the, the, the inner settings and everything and then you get notifications because you haven't turned the, the notification button off yet um, so you get all kinds of notification it's just it's very impractical whereas on Skype for example all you need to do is share screen and they can see what they, they need to see and you know if you don't want them to see it anymore you can just turn the screen sharing off and there's no small talk you get straight to the point there's um, a time and, and you know there's a time and date for when you meet up 
Um, all it takes is five seconds of logging on to Skype um, or Zoom or whatever you want to use. You know, uh, five minutes beforehand, you can actually, you know, you know, set it all up. There's no commute, there's no traffic, there's no small talk. It's just more efficient. And another great reason why um, uh, online clients are better is because you can actually land higher ticket clients online rather than offline. Why? Because not everyone lives in big cities. You know, there's also people that watch my YouTube channel that have social media agencies in third world countries. Um, there's a few core students from Italy. There's a, co a few core students from India. You know, it's very, very hard for those people to land clients that are high ticket in the direct neighborhood. One of my core students from Italy also said that where he works um, or where he lives, sorry, there's only like a local butchers, a local bakers, etc. There's no real um, like high ticket, high end businesses where he lives. And there's definitely no one there willing to pay upwards of a thousand a month for social media marketing. Now that he's in the course, he put, you know, he, he's been taught the online, um, you know, the online social media marketing methods. And he now lands clients online. He just landed the client from Singapore, for example, uh, for a thousand a month and that is something that he could not do in his direct uh, local neighborhood not to say that um, you know people from third world countries can't land big clients locally because every country has got big businesses but it's just much much harder whereas you know the world is basically your target audience your target market if you are working online and um, you know, I've worked with both local clients physical clients as well as online clients and my preference you know 100 goes out to online clients and i actually haven't got a client locally i haven't got a client in the netherlands and all my clients are online based in the us and the uk and that is just the way i prefer it you know all my contact goes through slack and uh, skype or zoom so daily communication goes through slack once we call and you know want to do like a screen share or something like that i'll do it through skype or zoom depending on what the client is used to um you know other than that like i said there's no need for me to meet the clients i build up relationship with the clients regardless because they can see my face they can hear my voice and you know other than that i, I don't need any small talk anything like that we get straight to business and you know the rest is history basically um another thing i want to mention before we you know finish off this video is if you have um let's say you know, let, let's say for example you know you're young okay and you go to a client locally you know they might start judging you because of your age or the way you look whether you wear glasses or not you know stuff like this, this does happen you know there's nothing we can do about it you know discrimination racism stuff like that this still exists and especially locally you know it's hard to um combat you know it's hard it's hard to basically do something about it whereas online most like if you feel that you will be judged whether you know by the way you look the way you dress maybe you've got tattoos in your face maybe you know anything like that then you just do not show your face on the video you know you just do audio and that way um you know you can land clients regardless of your age your gender and the way you look etc so that's just a quick tip you know i know there's a lot of young people out there that don't want to go to clients physically don't want to meet them face to face because they are younger and they don't want to be judged or they don't want to be mistreated or anything like that and online obviously you know they can maybe hear it from your voice but other than that you know there's no way of them knowing how old you are okay so hope you got something out of this if you want to know more about making money online uh, starting your own online social media marketing agency so you can literally work from your laptop i have got an entire free training on this the link is in the description box down below like this video if you got something out of it comment down below what you'd like to see from my channel next subscribe to the channel for more and i'll see you guys in the next one